Okay, there we go. Uh, hold on. Gotta open up chat. There we go. Uh, I gotta open up Mu Score. Uh, here we go. Hopefully, you can see this. Hey, Geometry Wolf, play in C minor? Nah, I'm doing C sharp minor for this one. Because I, I already kind of have a pre planned thing for this. Will Ghost Pumper be. <laughs> <laughs> Will Ghost Pepper be here? Um, I mean, he might. He usually wakes up uh, like an hour or two from now, so. Okay, uh, come on. Can I please? I need to turn this up. Can I like, uh, let's see, a volume mixer, uh, muse score, is that? Okay, mu score is at 100%. Never mind. It blocks, it's celestial. So I wanted to start out like with something like this because this is what I was playing on the piano earlier. When I'm like, you know what, there's I can make a good like C sharp minor melody with this. Um it's probably gonna be somewhere around more like 60 beats per minute than 120 so yep called it yeah windows 11 wait does it show that it's windows 11 oh because oh because i was showing the thing yeah i upgraded not knowing it sucked oh never mind you like it okay well never mind <laughs> uh yes it's the best thing ever yes totally yeah so, so I'm going to, uh, I think, I'm going to bring this out a little bit. Actually, no. Let me uh, do this. I don't, I don't need to show the line. Okay. You're playing Five Nights of Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. Well, welcome to the stream anyway, Mila. Welcome to my PC. Did I get it back or am I still on my laptop? I'm not getting it back. It's not. It's done for. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, okay. Nope, no, wrong thing. A mixture of Connor Johnson, Mirror the Dark Wolf, Ranger, and what the heck? Who the heck are they? Right. Right, you don't press enter to start in this one. Okay. So, now I'm asking, or now I'm wondering, actually, where, where, to go, where to go from here. Oops, no, don't want, can, can I not? Can, can, can I please not have this selected? Thank you. Okay, so we have this.
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's kind of slow right now. Okay, let me try that. Ah, come on, frickin' Maybe try going a bit higher in pitch, seeing those, but higher pitch. Like, is it sending? What? Like, the, you mean, like, exactly what I'm doing? Ah, shoot, stop. I didn't mean to do that. Nah, I'm gonna do this. Nah, blocks, blocks. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm making this. I already have an idea in my head. I, I'm. I'm centering things around like a motif thing like this. Where this, these chords are going, these aren't really chords, but these notes are going to change throughout the song, but it's still going to be kind of like a feel like this. There's probably going to be some variety by doing some stuff like, maybe like this, or something like that, like... But more complicated as it goes along, but yeah, stuff like that. Hey, Dimensional Gaming! Wait, what if I do, what if I do something like... Hey, Mega Bonk, yeah, I remember you. Ah. There we go. Who is Pipe MC? I'm guessing it's a, I'm guessing it's a person. Let's try this.
So it's a pipe I'm seeing on YouTube. Can you, you can just tell you can just tell me who he is because I'm I'm actually if I go on to YouTube I'm going to be like showing every like my whole screen and everything. D is a bit weird. Let's try this. There we go, I think that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, luckily not this luckily there aren't any immature people in chat in this stream. It's mostly the geometry that streams. Try that. Or maybe this. There we go. Oh, that, that sounds good. He's missing a buddy. Well, I can't really put sound bites in. I, actually, I think I can, but I don't know how. And I'm not going to try and figure it out. But hey, Minikin. I've been seeing a streamer just like me. I used to read chat, but now he quit a month ago. And now I've been trying to find streamers to stream and read chat. Oh, why did he quit? I just realized I'm 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 starting to make a really five minutes of phrase type feel like uh like uh like uh hold on hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why am I, why am I, why am I freaking... Like, I, I kind of avoid doing good stuff that sounds like this. Right, uh, I don't know the exact tempo. Let me just do like 150 or something like that. No, 120. Yeah, I gotta not do that. Uh, so... <laughs> I 
Cause this has a this has a very uh th this part has a, it seems to have a different feel than the rest of the song for some reason. Five Nights at Phrase One beatbox. No, I'm not having song recommendation. What what is what would I do with song recommendation? I'm creating a piece. He's a rapper, so oh my gosh. I, I hate how how rappers will use like keys uh, keys that I love and then like C minor C sharp minor usually those darker m keys and then make a trap beat over it and then just rap over it I don't like that mostly the sound I I mean I I, I don't care if like you're just making music but it's just I don't like the sound of just piano and drums. I've been a couple of people that you reach out and, you're one, and I'm one of them. Yeah, it's mostly the smaller YouTubers, I would assume. Oops, no. Oh wait, this is this is uh hmm. Oh wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. So let's make this like that. Do this and no, I, I want to. There we go. You want to try and find a good application to make music? I would recommend starting with. I would definitely recommend starting with MuseScore. Uh, cause for example, uh, you know, let me save this really quick. Uh, yeah, just making sure I didn't show any personal information there. Uh, because if you do like, uh, uh, you can choose the instruments, and you have all these instruments that you can choose from, like violin, viola, viol, violoncello, violoncello. I don't know how to pronounce that. I, I, I just know it as cello, contrabass, you got banjo. Uh, guitar, you got all this stuff. Uh, keyboards, you got piano, harpsichord, organ, pipe organ, vocals, you got, oh jeez, you got kazoo. You've got finger snap, hand clap, oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't even know those existed in this. Yeah, you got all this, and then you can also have these uh, things like I, I like to do, uh, sometimes I like to do string quartet, which sounds really nice. It's free, yes, it's completely free. Uh, there's, another, there's another software called Sibelius, which requires a subscription, uh, kind of like Adobe products, and uh, it's terrible. Well, I mean, it, it, it's ter It's not bad if you know how to use it, but it's terrible in like how you have to learn it, how much you or how much you have to like learn. It's so everything you want to put in 
to your pieces has to be found in such a roundabout way that you have to just use the search bar for everything. House or dubstep or drum and bass? Uh, oh, for house or dubstep, um, I would recommend using something more like FL Studio, which is $99 for the light version. But uh, this is more for um, making stuff that uses these instruments. Because you're not going to be able to make dubstep with MuseScore. But, um, yeah, it's, there, there's, a uh, what is battery percussion? I don't even know what that is. Whatever, anyway. Yeah, uh, but I, there's probably some other, uh, softwares like FL Studio that are cheaper. You like instrumental music too? Okay, good. Then the music score is right for you then. Hey, TGK. Hmm. You know what? No. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let me, uh, let me make this. He comes back in this. Mm. I'm staying. I'm really staying in the whole. Wait. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe, what happens if I take away the pedal? Let me, let me take away the sustain pedal. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the sustain pedal Uh, where's the sustain pedal? Here. There's, there's two, there's, let's see how many options for a sustain pedal. There's, uh, technically three options. Uh, but you, if you count all of these as one option. Anyway. It can be written anyway, like that, so, yeah. Okay, let me just select all these. It's weird that you have to, if you want to select multiple things, you have to hold control instead of uh, shift. I'm used to doing it with shift. Okay. Uh, this actually, now that, I, now that I have a B here, I think I can go into uh, an E major thing. Are you... Are you not, am I almost at the drop? Uh, I, when I usually do songs, I usually have long build-ups. It seems complicated. What, MuseScore? It's not.
Oh wait, are you talking? Wait. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. Okay, there we go. And you're probably hearing this reaction a bit late because of stream delay, but yeah, it's okay. I was confused about. I had a feeling you were talking about the the calm or the calm. I thought I thought a drum tree wolf meant calm down a dinosaur, not chained down. Yeah, to chain down a dinosaur, you basically need to. Uh, You need to, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so this is your dinosaur. You got the head, you got the, you got the body with the four feet here. Uh, you got the, you got the, um, the body with it. Yeah, you know what? Let me, let me do, let me do this. Um, let me do this. There we go. Oh, that makes it even worse. <laughs> okay, so you got your dinosaur. You got your spikes. You got your feet. You got your neck and head. Okay. So basically, what you got to do to chain down a dinosaur. Uh, or, well, if, if you want to chain it down, basically what you got to do is just take Yeah, you, you got this Okay, there's your, so there's your chain It's on one side And if I, uh do uh let's see uh measure properties uh actual let's do let's do yeah then uh you do the uh there you go you got your dinosaur chained down how you, uh how do you chained down something big like a t-rex or a gigantosaurus okay so basically Pretend that these aren't here. Actually, let me just delete them. Uh, if you want to do something basically with a with a, a, a T Rex, then you gotta just like take it and just go like that. I hope that helps. <laughs> I, I literally just drew a dinosaur in Mu Score. Okay. Uh, oh, whoops, wrong way. Okay, there we go. So, um, G E and that's C. If I do this, this is gonna be a bit. Mm. Actually, no. I can. I can just do this. What am I? What am I doing? There we go. Now it's gonna go a bit happier. Uh, usual. Maybe I should make this in two four. Maybe maybe this should be in two four. This should probably this should probably be in two four. And I'm also gonna put this right here.
Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, uh, how do you chain down Godzilla? So, basically, you got Godzilla. Oh, and this is going to be harder because it's 2-4 now. Uh, let me do something like 6-4. Uh, so, uh, for Godzilla, Godzilla's got like a... Uh, let's see. So, you, so, um, hold on. I got, I got, I got, I got to actually make Godzilla for it to be, uh, obvious. It's for it to show that I'm like, okay. So, Uh, the... So you got the head, okay? You got the head, and then you need to uh, do like something with the. Oh shoot! Okay. Uh, this is gonna go into its own layer, or its own. This is gonna go into like a. This needs to come down. So is, is everyone still here? Uh, I, I'm not just doing this randomly in, in like by myself, am I? Because that would just be weird. Okay. So uh, you got three. Let me go. Or I got this. I think you're the only one. Okay. Well, at least you're here. Because you're the one that asked the question. So, um... Oops, uh, that's a 30 second note. Okay, so Godzilla is so big that you basically have to like, ah, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so you got Godzilla. This is this this is God's this is this is Godzilla. Oops, shoot. Uh, let me make this seven four. Yeah. So you got Godzilla. You, you got, uh, let me get rid of these random. Let me, let me, let me also make this a bit less crowded here. Okay. So you got Godzilla. Um. And you want to chain him down. What you gotta do. If you want to chain down Godzilla. Uh, I can't draw the whole thing because he's so massive. Hey, random banana cat, welcome to the stream. This has turned into such a just silly stream. You basically have to, um... Hold on. This is gonna, this, this might be a bit hard to do, but when he's sleeping, the first thing you're gonna wanna do um, is you're going to want to put a, like a, like, kind of like a muzzle thing on him. Okay? So that, or, or really anything that prevents him from opening his mouth. 
Where, wait, where the, oh shoot, uh, this needs to be, I, I, I accidentally deleted his neck, or his throat, part of his neck. So you gotta, so basically, you've got, you've got to like muzzle him so he can't breathe fire or open his mouth, because that, that's, that's the whole kind of thing. Uh, since he's Godzilla, you need a cooler in his mouth. No, you just need, uh, you just need, like, some, uh, actually, you know what? That might work. Uh, that might just work. So you need, so you need a, a cooler in his mouth. So let's just put that in there really quick. Um, uh, There we go. These dots are the cooler. This is, okay, see, this is the cooler and this is the muzzle. Okay? So when the laser comes out, it's gonna, the, the cooler is going to prevent the muzzle from overheating and, uh, and yeah, and, and breaking eventually or melting, whatever happens first. So after that, um, you give up on the joke and you just delete them. Easy, easiest way to do it, because uh, I'm not drawing chain. I'm not drawing any more chains or anything, because I I can barely fit any more notes in there without destroying the whole thing that I created. But you know what? I want to see what Godzilla at least sounds like uh, with the muzzle on. So uh, we're gonna play this. I'm going to be honest with you, that wasn't that bad. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because here, uh, it seems we've got a G sharp major, sorry, G sharp minor ninth chord. And here is a, uh, just a seventh interval, a fifth, which is a strong, uh, which always has strength to it. Wait. Uh, and then there's this, which always has, like, harmony to it, the major third. Uh, then you got, what is this? This is an E, and this is an A. Okay, those don't clash at all. They're not in, it, but, I mean, that's technically the second and the... F Actually, wait, if this is G-sharp major, then this should be like this. This should be like this. This should be like this. Uh, are any of these A's? This is an A. I mean, G-sharp minor, sorry. Not G-sharp major. Um, that's an A. That, oh, oh, wait, no, this is already, uh, I, that's already sharp. Uh, these are A's. So this is actually going to become diminished. Uh, and not sound as good as it did before. Before it was an A major chord, now it's going to be A sharp diminished. Uh, yeah, Widezilla. Let's see if I can make him a bit more. No, I can't make him any more. Uh, I, anyway. Uh, let's see. Any more A's? Here's an A. I think that's it. So we got. That actually doesn't sound bad. Like, it doesn't sound good. But, like, Godzilla, uh, apparently, with, if he has his muzzle on, doesn't... It doesn't sound... Oh, wait, this is an A-sharp. That's, that's an A. Okay. The only, the only, the only weird part is this. I can make this actually not sound bad. Let's see, what do we got? We got B, D sharp, okay, so I can probably make a B major chord of, out of this. Or B major seventh. So... 
That would just be that 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 would just make me that would just mean I'd have to do that. <laughs> it doesn't sound bad at all. I mean like the rhythm is also very random. But like Oops, no, shoot. Come on. And there's a Godzilla in 7-4 for you. Uh, it says 6-4, but like I, I actually have the measure set so that it's in 7-4 because 6-4 wasn't big enough. I, I, I'm sorry that this is so off like topic from this, but I really just I really just want to listen to this again one more time. Yeah, we chained down Godzilla, or we at least muzzled him. Okay. I wonder if there's like a... Uh... Symbols is no. Okay, well, what if I what if I do like a Alright, something like this. Let me, let, here, let me do a... Oops, no. Come on. Okay. So this is a G sharp minor... Uh, seventh, ninth... This is a G sharp minor thirteenth. Holy crap. Um, uh, so we're going to. Do something like. Make this uh, that. And then let's do, uh, let's just do it. Let's do a thirteenth chord of its of the second of the with the second as the root. So A sharp. Oh, wait, there's got to be an A sharp in here, right? Oh, that that's the A sharp. Okay, so it's the it's fine. Hey, mazes, we're kind of we're kind of just like uh. We're, we're kind of just playing around in at the moment. Uh, so, okay, this is actually, okay, maybe I shouldn't do the second if it's in a minor scale. Um, so we're going to do something more like this. We're gonna take the sixth, or sorry, we're gonna take the seventh and the second. And we're just going to repeat it. And this should, if I do where, where, where is it? Okay, here we go. That's him breathing fire. Can I play it? Are you talking about this? Uh, which I, I kind of just did, but I, I'm done. I'm done with this now. This God, Godzilla is. 
He's, uh, he's gonna have to go, sadly. Uh, measure properties, this is, oh, oh, yeah, because these are all gonna be in 6.4. Let me just do that. Measure property, me me measure properties. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me do, let me bring this back to 6.4. And then do that. And so all of this should be in two, two, four. Yeah. Okay. So now back to the main thing that I was gonna do. That was fun. That was fun. That was definitely fun. But I wanted, I wanted to still get back on track. What is this? Staff type change. I, I have no idea what this binds seven. Oh, 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 wait, I can make the staff lines invisible. Wait, let me, let me change it back to five. I can make the staff lines invisible. Yo, that is awesome. I can do some stuff with that. Wait, actually, hold on a second. Let's bring back Godzilla really quick. I'm so sorry. And uh, I, I want to just uh, do, um, I'll do that. Can this do the thing? Yeah. Can I make this invisible, this invisible, this invisible, this invisible, this, 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 uh, this, this, this. We got Godzilla! We got Godzilla! He's not, um, he's not confined by, uh, by the, the staff anymore. He's been set free. And he's going to, uh, he's going to attack, uh, I'm trying to think of something funny. Uh, Family Guy already did the Haiti joke. Uh, I can't think of anything. Okay. It's just yeah. Two four, two four. Yep. Okay. There we go. You listen to the song so far? Yeah, certainly. Let me just save this. Uh, so it's not at all like. Yeah. Okay. this if I do if I do that I should start stop starting from here it's gonna take too long oh shoot no I accidentally right clicked. I have a trigger finger. Uh, I, a twitchy finger. It, um, it's my right middle finger and it likes to click f randomly at times without my permission. That's much better. Okay, that sounds better because it's not a, 
It's not an octave, and uh, it's in the octave notes fifth either, because ba because before we had E, we we basically had this. And if you listen to this, there's no harmony in that. It's just, or at least no good. I don't know. Maybe it counts as harmony. I don't know, but there's no like. Yeah, actually, no, there's no harmony in that. I'm pretty sure that doesn't count as harmony. The, the, like, if I put this here, it would sound better. Because it has, like, a feel to it. You can, t you can it has a motion to it. But this just sounds like something that would be done to me. It to be, like, to add strength to a piece. And that alone, it wouldn't be used solely for... Hey, Muda! It wouldn't be solely used for, uh... Uh, what is it? Um... Like, sounding good. If you just made pieces out of this, out of, uh, octaves, which is this interval, and fifths, which is this interval... Um, yeah, good... Good luck making that sound good. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you could probably do like oct. There's, I mean, there's octaves that are just like, like, like you, you could do like something like Hungarian Rhapsody number six did. I don't know how, I don't know how to make that. I don't know what notes those are, but uh, but you can also do like something like um, oh, you can do something like uh, Hungarian Rhapsody number two did, uh, where it's like, uh, what is it? It was. It was in this key, so that's that's helpful. Dang it. <laughs> oh wait, uh, it's, it started uh It's, it actually starts uh, with an offset of a, of a 16th note. If you do something like... Uh, like this... Uh, I guess I could... continue doing the... Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna make it look good, but I'll, I'll, I'll just do the... Wait. Yeah. So Hungarian Rhapsody number two does this. But it only does it kind of once. It doesn't really. Yeah, I'm I'm kind I'm kinda of giving a music lesson here. Um, the, uh, but what I'm saying is that basically this is just meant to add, like, strength and more intensity to a piece. But, uh, you're, if you want to make it sound good, you gotta add some, like, like a third or something in there, eventually. It's some, in either the right hand or the left hand. To make it sound good. Or else it just sounds... You, you, do, you, do you hear the difference? Let me, let me get rid of this. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, you forgot the name, but can you do the normal piano song? The normal piano song? What do you, what, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, Fear Elise. 
You want me to play it or do you want me to to just to just show the um show you what that looks like? Fear Elise is not in this key. Fear Elise is actually in uh, A minor. Uh, on the on sheet music, you wouldn't see these uh, these these symbols here. You would just see nothing. But uh, oh, play it. Okay. Uh, this is the only time I'm gonna do this though. Wait, shoot, I, uh, I, I just realized I deleted some of the... You know, uh, I'll play in a second. Let me just fix what I had before. Basically, so basically what I was saying was that I had that I had what I just had before with the B up here. Uh, but instead the B was an octave higher and it just, it just didn't sound very melodic or harmonic or whatever you want to call it. But since uh, you got a B and a G sharp, this makes a minor third, uh, and then it adds the major. But then it shows that it's actually a major because it uses an E here uh, and the same G. Anyway, did I do it in piano in real life? By the way, yeah, I, I can actually play it with some mistakes. Uh, I'm not. It's. I could try. I can't do the whole thing, like the hard part. Uh, on the uh, the second page, I cannot do, uh, or well, I actually haven't tried doing it, but I don't think I can do this. Uh, it's a lot of thirty second notes and uh, some weird t some weird looking timings in three eight because the song's in three eight, not four four or two four or anything. But I can play it, yeah. Here, let me uh, let me get the let me let the microphone. Uh, be able to hear it. Should have, it would be able to hear it anyway, but I think it's clearer if I get my chair out of the way. Okay. So. Um, so. Yeah, let me turn this up. I, I I was just going back into the other uh, motif. It changes there. Yeah, no mistakes except for except uh, the end there. Uh, I could I could try and play the the rest uh, up until the hard part. Uh, I I don't know actually what how the transition is the hard part. I think it's uh, the I have the sheet music right here. Oh, okay. So it's actually a, it's actually pretty it, it should take like a minute to get to the hard part. Even though the song's in three eight and it's kinda of fast. Uh anyway. Not kinda of fast. It is medium speed. Moderate. What does it say? What does it say is a tempo? Poco moto. That doesn't help. <laughs> okay. We'll try that again. Um. Whoa, shoot. Come on. Uh, 
Oh wait, actually. Wait, does it change? Ah, whatever. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go, John Twelve. Okay, see you, man. I haven't practiced for release a lot, so I make some mistakes sometimes. Uh, mostly around, mostly after the, yeah, mostly in the B section, or is it A prime? It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to. I'm not really good at deter, at like uh. Uh, determining the names of the different parts of a piece because it's kind of hard for me. Because like in modern day music, you got verse one, verse two. You got the chorus, you got the pre-chorus, you got the bridge, and they're all very obvious. But like in classical music, you've got A. It starts out in A every time. The uh, section A. And then it goes into, then it sometimes goes into B, or maybe it'll go into A prime. A prime means it's the same thing as A pretty much, but with a slight difference. B prime means, sorry, B means that it's a whole other section. And I'm not sure if, uh, a, if the part that goes, -na 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 -na. I can't sing, but, uh, can I play a new score? Uh, I mean, I could, tr I, I'd have to make some changes to stuff. Uh, where's the time signatures? Here we go. Make this uh two eight. Then you got, you got this. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, one eight. Then you got, uh, A, the tonic, where it resolves and then it does a uh, thing we're down here where it says A, the fifth, E, and then uh, A. Then, uh, gotta remember the notes. I think it's, I think it's that, and then it goes E, E, G sharp. Then, uh, then it goes E, G sharp. And back to this because it goes back to A minor. This is the most dead stream? Uh, yeah. How many people are watching? Two. But I mean, it's got like six likes. People have been coming in and out, basically. Okay. Uh, let me let me see how much of this is. Shoot. Uh, oh, yeah, you've also got to do, uh, you got to, you got to do this. Uh. Oh, oh, right. Uh, this, this is in 2-8. I don't have the sheet music in front of me, by the way. I'm trying to do this by memory. Uh, 
Uh, it's E. And then it repeats. But, however... Uh, where's the, where's the thing? Here it is. However, you got, uh, whenever it gets back, whenever it repeats and gets back to this measure, it doesn't play this measure, it plays this measure under this two. Uh, this two line. Uh, so that'll be... Uh... Oh wait, actually. Oh wait, no, no, it doesn't repeat yet. Okay. So this actually goes on for a while, but basically, um, here, you know what? I'm gonna do this really quick. I can, I can actually do this really quick. I can just do that. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 there. Here, here is where the 2-8 comes in. Yeah, this again. And you got uh, a... E. It repeats. Come on. Oh shoot! I placed that in the wrong place. I don't even know how that how that would work. Uh, where it was placed. Then this line goes over this. This line goes over here. So this is the same. But then it goes into. Oh wait. Also, this is in two eight as well. I think. And then you have... I'm not going to do the end of this repeat sign. But I'm going to just... Oh, whoops. Uh, I'm going to put it here. Uh, I'm not going to go to where it repeats. How am I able to handle so much criticism? What do you mean? Do I get... It? Do I get a lot of criticism? Oh wait, no, this isn't in 2-8. This isn't in 2-8. This is, uh... This continues the, uh, the 3-8 thing. Oh, shoot. Continues the 3-8 thing. And then it does things like a C major arpeggio. Okay. So. There's also a lot of, uh, there's also a lot of like these things here, like these. There's a lot of uh, like these things in here, in the, in the score. But I'm not going to really put them in. These aren't even in the right place. There's like multiple in a measure sometimes. Uh, and it's, there's like so many to make it seem much more emotional. But I'm not, I don't usually play them. I really should uh, learn how to play. I sh really should be playing them as I learn. But I've, I've been learning and then doing the dynamics afterwards. But whatever. Anyway, you got... Wait. Oh wait, is it actually, oh wait, is it, uh, is it this? Shoot. Oh, 
Oh, oh, and this is that's an A sharp, not a G sharp. Wait, I didn't put. Wait, I didn't put this bottom one into freaking. Oh my gosh, why do I have to make the? Why does it have to? Why do I have to make both of these A minor? It should just need to be one. I'm not playing two. I'm not gonna. When am I gonna play two keys at the same time? Oh, whoops. Uh, I don't need to do any of the. Okay. Oh, and also, um, this doesn't go here. This goes here. There we go. No, it does. Wait, it does go there. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Oh well, wait, I need to, uh, I, I, uh, actually, I forgot one last thing and that is this. Now, now we can play without any anything bad happening. Oh wait, no, I made that wrong, no! <laughs> I made it wrong, okay, okay, never mind. I made it wrong, I didn't do the dun 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 But anyway. It's better than the original? It's, it's the exact thing of the original. It's exactly the original, it just doesn't have any dynamic changes. What is my closest brush with death? Um... I'm trying to... Think. Uh... I I know there's the there's the, there was the time where my mom went through in uh in vitro fertilization which is basically where um I believe this is it's in vitro fertilization that's what it's called but basically uh the way the baby is made is that um the uh uh, instead of it being done uh, how you would expect it to, what happens is, so the egg is fertilized and then placed into an incubator, and it, and the basically the baby develops outside of the mom. And I, I was born that way. Uh, however, um, the. Uh, I believe I it, I believe I was one of like uh, like a dozen or so fetuses that uh that were to be made uh or that that were to be like just it would to see if they would survive or not uh some of, I think half of them died uh but I was I I survived I put back I was put back into my mom uh or something for um, uh, for her to go into her labor or something. I don't know what pro I don't know at what stage the baby goes back into the mother. I think it's when it I think it's when when I think 
Oh, it's when it becomes an embryo, I think. I don't know, but I'm not sure. Either way, uh, I think there were a lot of things that happened in that place that uh, made it so that I was one of the lucky ones. Uh, I do know that my mom had a brush with death <laughs> during uh, when I went into labor, or when she, or when she went into labor with me. I mean, you're about to insert a huge needle inside your back to test for some disease. This, this is not even about the song anymore. I'm probably getting the stream soon. But I want to, this is more like talking with the chat right now. I'm talking with the chat. When you were very little. Okay. Uh, what happened? What, 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 did anything happen? What, they, were gonna, they were about to answer a huge new one. So, so is, is that the end? It, that's all you were going to say? Or are you going to... Anyway. Oh, you were very sick? Okay. I, could, I guess I could say while uh, Mega Bonk's typing this, what my, my mom went through uh, during labor. This might be a bit uh, disturbing to some people, but it's not, like, inappropriate or anyway. Am I going to play Five Minutes of Freddy's fan games? Sure, maybe. I played those nights at Rachel's. Uh, and I played the Joy of Creation. Uh, story mode. Some of it. Anyway. Uh, when I... Uh, when I was born, uh, my mom didn't... So the placenta is supposed to come out I'm not going to say what the placenta is if you don't know it, but basically there's something inside the mom called the placenta, uh, and if it doesn't come out uh, along with the baby, uh, I think it takes a certain amount of time after the baby, but I might be wrong, uh, then uh, it means something's wrong. Uh, my mom, I think the I think the placenta didn't fully come out or something like that. And my mom was like really bleeding internally. And she lost two liters, two liters of blood. Average, I believe the, uh, the average human has five in their system. She lost two liters of blood and uh, was luckily saved. So that's the story of how I almost killed my mom by being born. <laughs> yep, two liters. So basically, like, imagine a soda bottle, one of those big soda bottles that they give for parties or something like that, that has, that has two liters of soda in it, and uh, just that's how much blood, that's how much blood my mom lost. How is she alive? Because I think you need to lose like three or four uh, liters to, uh, to bleed out. I don't know exactly how much though. But she, she was very lightheaded and everything according to her. And hey Z, uh, yeah, I like your new. I do like your new profile picture. That is awesome. That is that is actually incredible, dude. Uh, anyway, I think I'm gonna end the stream. Uh, weird, weird note to end it on, but uh, I'm going to. Uh, what is this? Uh, oh wait, I'm, I'm still showing the, uh, I'm, I'm still showing my screen. Okay. See you guys. I'm going to go, uh, do something else for a little bit, then I'll come back and stream again. Goodbye guys. I'll work on this a little bit also off stream. Again, bye.